All right, so I'm back, and uh, I want to, uh, what I'm going to keep doing is, like, maybe just doing, and I, I soaked these skewers, but as hot as it got, it still managed to uh, burn some of them off. I'll be doing, like, one at a time here and rotating around and getting them the way I want them, which I think is a better way to do this now. Again, I think I would have let these coals get a lot lower, though there's not much coal left, and I'm still getting a lot of heat. And you can see that the coal pot is very much... Uh, a, a design a lot like a rocket stove. I gotta make sure I don't touch that, that it's extremely hot uh, piece of cast aluminum sitting right there. I first learned about uh, these types of, uh, st these, this type of cooker on a show called Jamaican Food Made Easy. And most of what I've seen done with them involves cooking with cooking utensils, like a pot. So if you think about it, if you had a big, huge, even more charcoal than I have on here in there, uh, one, that would reduce the airflow, so it's going to cook slower uh, than it would if, um, if I had it open like this. And uh, then if I put a pot on top of the charcoal, it's going to cook slower. And I've seen them make everything from jerk chicken to peas and rice that way. And maybe I'll try to do some jerk chicken for you uh, during this period of time where Dorothy's away. Right now I'm playing Bachelor on the deck. That's why I just have the iPhone uh, snapped into a uh, holder on the tripod. Um... But this is pretty cool, and, and again, this is what's called a Jamaican coal pot. Uh, I, I can't remember the website that I found this on, but I will put a link in the video notes for you after I get the video uploaded. But I will tell you this. I ordered this thing. It took so long to come, I forgot I ordered it. When the, uh, when the box showed up, it looked like somebody in Jamaican Customs maybe had played soccer with it for God knows how long before they sent it to me. I don't know what the big deal was. I know there's a lot of you know, drug trafficking out of Jamaica and all, and maybe getting things through customs there is, is a big problem. I can't find another source of them, so it's the only one I can recommend. I do think it's a very interesting cooking implement, and uh, I wish that show Jamaican show, uh, Food Made Easy had more than a few episodes and had got a second season because uh, I only saw this used a couple times, and I'd like to know more about it. If any of you guys know... Uh, places uh, that, where you can learn more about cooking with a coal pot. Uh, I, I think this is really kind of a very cool uh, cooking tool. And, and again, if you look at it, it's very much designed like a rocket stove, except it's opened with this bowl-style wok shape. And my understanding is these ladies in Jamaica that cook with this can make anything with this. They can make biscuits with this. They can make jerk chicken with this. They can make peas and rice with this. They can make desserts with this. And... Uh, Unlike a lot of people that do videos on YouTube, I don't perfect things and then do the video. I kind of learn along the way as I go, and I mess some things up and overcook some things a little bit. But actually, I think this is going to turn out freaking fabulous. Um, I wish you could smell what this smells like cooking. So, like, right there I've got a spot that I think could use a little bit uh, more charring. And I'll keep working that, and I'm sure these have cooked, pretty much cooked through. You don't want to overcook these. I haven't gone into too much about what the skewers are actually, the recipe and all, and how to make them. This is probably not how I would do these skewers in the future. Unless with the metal skewers across the top of this, I'd get a better result. And I think I would. And I, I might try that. And um, maybe I'll go to the store tomorrow and just make them again and see what the difference is. Um, but I'll tell you what. I ain't going to be sad when it's time to bite into one of these. And I'll be back with you in just a bit uh, to uh, tell you what they taste like and how they came out.